Now I'd like to introduce our graduate de delegate, Na Liu, from Shandong Province in China. Na graduates with a Master of Science degree in criminal justice and is currently working on several projects for our Center for Public Safety Initiatives. To the collaboration between the City of Rochester, a number of criminal justice agencies of Greater Rochester, and our own criminal justice department. Na currently leads an evaluation initiative geared toward reducing homicides and gun violence and also assists the Rochester Police Department with evaluation of its body-worn camera project. She's presented her research at several national conferences, most recently the American Society of Criminal Justice and the Northeastern Association of Criminal Justice Sciences. After graduation, Na plans to continue her work with our Center for Public Safety Initiatives. I am proud to present the 2017 College of Liberal Arts graduate delegate, Na Liu. Thank you, Dean Wenbrake. And welcome and congratulations to all 2017 graduates. 2017 marks the sixth year of my staying in this country. Last October, my parents visited me for the first time since I came here. It was through this long-awaited reunion that I realized I had broken free of many restrictions of my cultural traditions. Being a girl who was born under China's one-child policy, I was constantly reminded to be outstanding at everything because I was supposed to be the future of the family. Meanwhile, I was also told to be less aggressive because of being a girl. School, family, career, fertility, the society's traditional yet contradicting expectations about these things made me frustrated, confused, and ashamed. I gave up my dream undergraduate major of forensic science because words like no one will shake hands with you because you touch that bodies and no man wants to marry a woman who does that for a living made me afraid. Yet. After all these years of coping with the traditional definition of me, I chose to let the real me take the lead. I was once... <laughs> I was once told not to become an athlete because sports should not be what a girl does for life. I was told that I couldn't teach English in the United States because the assumption was that, as an international student, I could barely understand it. I was warned that I was not going to be supported if I went back to school because, as a woman, I should focus on family. Fortunately, I did not listen, and I did all of them. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Coming to RIT was one of the best choices I have made in my life. During my journey here, I walked out of my little circle and embraced a much broader environment filled with knowledge, inspiration, and recognition. The inclusiveness here made me feel in the liberal arts, College of Liberal Arts made me feel like home by respecting my tradition. But it also pushed me further into a bigger world by encouraging me to make changes. Part of my research involved riding along with the Rochester Police Department. I can never forget the moment when I saw a grieving mother rushing to the crime scene where her young son was just murdered. The shock, anger, and sorrow blended together while she was crying his name and pounding on the steering wheel. It was, as, it was at this moment I realized that as a person, I could and should make a difference. People such as Charles Darwin, Martin Luther King Jr., and Susan B. Anthony became pilots of change. 
They rebelled against their traditions of knowledge, history, and humanism. Changes can sometimes be painful. However, it is important to preserve the essence of tradi tradition while also gaining new freedoms. The freedom of our beliefs, knowledge, love, and justice. Someone once told me that I shouldn't keep trying to go further because as a woman, I have reached my limit and I shouldn't keep trying to reach the sky. So I decided to start a training program to become an actual certified pilot and literally reach the sky. <laughs> Yes, I am not the traditional well-behaved Chinese woman. Please hold on to the rebel spirit in your blood and let it push you to break the constraints of antiquated traditions. Most importantly, I hope you can help me bring this open view of changing tradition to other places in the world. Don't be a prisoner of tradition. Be a pilot who soars and creates change. Thank you. Thank you, Na, for those inspirational remarks.